In this video, we are going to talk about the concepts of genes, alleles, genotypes, and phenotypes. So let's say we have a diploid individual. And that means this individual has two of each type of chromosome, one from the father and the other one from the mother. Now, a gene is just a section of this chromosome. Now, the, the, the section of the chromosome represents some sequence of DNA. So if we take this gene, there will be some sequence of DNA that corresponds to the gene. And let's recall here the central dogma which says that this DNA is transcribed into RNA and the RNA is translated into protein and this protein determines phenotypes Phenotypes are observable features of organisms such as the color of uh, uh, peas, green or yellow in Mendel's experiments or their texture, wrinkled or smooth or um, the coat color of dogs from gray to black to white to brown or whether their tail droops or not or human height for example. Anything that's observable about an organism is a phenotype. To summarize, the diploid individual has two chromosomes of each type. The chromosome is a long DNA molecule and stretches of that DNA molecule are genes which are transcribed or read into RNA and that RNA is translated into protein which determine the phenotypes or observable features of these diploid individuals. Next, let's discuss what alleles are. Let's say that mice can have two coat colors, black and white. And so these are your phenotypes, black and white. There are two versions or alleles of the coat color, uh, coat color gene B1 and B2. I will represent B1 by the red color and so there is a chromosome, red in color, which has this gene B1, or this allele, rather, the version of this gene. And I'm going to represent the other version or allele of this gene with B2. So 
So there is this different version of the chromosome that carries the B2 allele. So what's different about them? Well, what's different about them is the DNA sequence. So perhaps the B1 allele is AGTTACC while the B2 allele is AGATACC. And so the DNA sequence of the stretch of the chromosome that corresponds to this, the gene is different and that gives rise to different versions or alleles of the genes and one allele is B1, the other allele is B2. So now what is the genotype of these two individuals. Well, the first individual has both B1 alleles and so we can write that the genotype is B1, B1 or B1 forward slash B1. And the other individual has both B2 alleles and we can say that the genotype is B2, B2 or B2 forward slash B2. I would like you to get used to the second this way of writing genotypes because it's much clearer and will come in handy when we start dealing with multiple chromosomes. All right. So what is the phenotype of these two individuals? Which means the observable features of the organism or in this case the mice and well we said that there are two coat colors black and white and they are determined by two genes or two alleles b1 and b2 in this case the phenotype of this first individual is going to be black and the second individual will have the phenotype of white And the other thing that we can say about these two individuals is that they have the same alleles. They have both copies of the alleles are the same. So they are homo, which means same zygous. The first individual is homozygous because they are B1, B1. The Both alleles are the same. And the second individual is also homozygous since they are B2, B2. So the question arises, what happens when you have an individual who has a mixture of alleles or different alleles, for example, an individual who has a red chromosome with the B1 allele and a blue chromosome with the B2 allele. Well, first of all, this individual would be called heterozygous. And 
The second question arises, which is, what is the genotype of this individual? Well, following our previous um, convention, the genotype of this individual is going to be B1, B2, or B1 forward slash B2. And the third question arises, what is going to be the phenotype of this individual? Well, we know that if you are homozygous for B1, B1, you are black. Whereas if you are homozygous for B2, B2, you are white. So there are only two possibilities here. You could either be black or you could be white. If you are black, that means that the B1 allele is dominant over the B2 allele. Whereas if you are white, that means B2 is dominant over the B1 allele. And the crucial point here is that dominance or recessiveness can only be decided by looking at what the phenotype of the heterozygous individual is. If the phenotype of the heterozygous individual follows the phenotype of the first allele, let's say B1, then B1 is dominant. Whereas if the phenotype of the heterozygous individual follows the phenotype of the other allele, let's say B2, then B2 is dominant and B1 is recessive. To summarize, we have discussed what genes are. Genes are stretches of DNA along our chromosomes that get transcribed into RNA and that RNA gets translated into protein and the protein goes on to do things that determine phenotypes which are observable features of organisms such as the color of flowers, human height, pigmentation and so on. Genes can come in different versions or alleles. So alleles are versions of genes and what's different about them is that the sequence of DNA is different on different chromosomes. And if you have the same versions or same alleles of genes in a diploid individual, that individual is called homozygous. Whereas if you have different versions or different alleles in the same individual, that individual is called heterozygous. And if the heterozygous individual follows the phenotype has the same phenotype as one allele, then that allele is considered dominant and the other allele is considered recessive.